10 minutes and cover that real quick. And then we'll go to uh, working on bids today. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. All right. So they asked me to, to basically outline the steps, how to do FEMA, how to get FEMA contracts. The first step is to register. All you need is a basic registration in SAM to do FEMA contracts. Uh, inside SAM, there's a button that you actually click that says you want to be on the disaster recovery uh, directory. I've never seen this directory, but it's inside SAM. Uh, if you go to your or ask your case manager if, if, if they've done it, I mean, it should have done it. We do it automatically, even on the basic registrations. Uh, 5YMD1. Let me show you guys real quick. So here's my registration. And if you go to entity registration, and scroll down right here. Do you wish to be included in disaster recovery, uh, disaster response registry? And you just gotta put yes. So if you guys, if, if we registered you, we would have done that for you already. So this is more for those guys that haven't registered yet or depending on thinking about registering, what have you. So that's the basic step. Now, does that guarantee you government uh, FEMA contracts? No, of course not. Only thing the government guarantees is death and taxes. You guys know that. Uh, if you really want to get FEMA contracts, there's a few additional steps you're going to want to take, and I'm going to show you that now. So that's the basic registration. You've also got... Each uh, state, county, and local government has their own disaster recovery division. I would register with your state and your county and your city government disaster recovery divisions because, um, you know, a lot of times the state, local, or county government's more apt to declare a disaster quicker than FEMA because FEMA has to come in and, and do, you know, an investigation or, or review the damage and, and determine what level of disaster it's going to be. It's sometimes that can take a day or two. So if the state or your local or your county government declares a disaster first and they hire you, when FEMA comes in and takes over, sometimes they'll keep you there. So it's a good way to get in the door uh, by registering with your state, local, or county government. If you're not set up as a disadvantaged uh, business, a WB, MBE, VBE, you want to do that as well. That's through the Department of Transportation to the state. If you need help with it, let me know. Um, set up FBO and AFPDS. Okay, so you set up your searches in FBO to run automatically because there are FEMA contracts that are posted in FBO. So FEMA does put some stuff out for bid as well. Uh, some of these contracts they'll put out ahead of time in anticipation of a storm, and sometimes they put them out uh, as the as these storms or these uh, disasters are declared. So if you go to the advanced search and you scroll down to agency specific, FEMA is a part of the Department of Homeland Security. So you got to put Department of Homeland Security. Federal Emergency Management. There it is, FEMA. And, of course, you can type in a keyword or a specific area and search. And there's 591 contracts in the system today for FEMA. So uh, you can also set up your automatic searches. Uh, if you log in, you can set your searches up through your MyFBO to run automatically to look for FEMA contracts as well. So that's one area. Um, there are subcontracts. So getting in the door as a subcontractor is another good way to get in the door with FEMA because sometimes when you do a subcontract work, the prime knows, the person agent knows who you are because uh, – because you're the one doing the work. And so sometimes the primes have to disclose who their subcontractors are. So if you do a job as a subcontractor and the purchasing agent's happy with you, possibly next year they'll ask you to bid on it directly as a prime. Um, you can also pull up FEMA contracts and AFPDS and market yourself that way. Or excuse me, FPDS.
So there's the Department of Homeland Security. Um, they're primary, and then you've got FEMA secondary. So these are all FEMA contracts that have been awarded recently. And you can market yourself to these primes to do subcontract work for them. These guys just won one for $2 million. So you take their DUNS number. Pop that in cage system. Don't bother searching in SAM. It's a pain and it crashes sometimes. Make sure you get the whole DUNS number. I lost one, two, three. I got the whole DUNS number. There's WSP USA. They just won that $2 million contract. So click on the details. Call Laura. Say, hey, Laura, congratulations. I see you guys just won that contract with FEMA for $2 million. We specialize in blah, blah, blah. I'd like to know what I could do to earn your business as a subcontractor. We can help you with your ESRS requirements. Oh, you're not the right person to speak to? Who's your small business liaison officer? I need to talk to your SBLO. Just run with it. You can also <clears throat> market yourself to these purchasing agents in here as well. If you go in, click the view link. Sometimes it'll show you the prepared username. And when that's the case, whoops. Sometimes it'll show you who the purchasing agent is. And click the view link right there. Take the prepared user's information and Google it. And sometimes you can find the name and phone number of the, the actual purchasing agent by searching it. And if not, uh, you guys can always ask me for a list of FEMA federal purchasing agents. I have a list of purchasing agents that you can reach out to with names and phone numbers and, and introduce yourself, hit them with your elevator pitch, ask them what you can do during their business. That's not it. It's that. And of course I have my gold mine list. If anybody wants that, just let me know. Which is 40 something thousand federal purchasing officers. All right, uh, subnet. There are some FEMA contracts that are put out in subnet where the primes are looking for uh, subcontractors as well. So you can go in here and search the database. 